Now, today's video is sponsored by Phone Rescue. With the new releases of beta software, there could be data loss. And if you encounter any data loss, Phone Rescue can help you recover that data, whether it's from a backup or directly from your iOS device. You can recover any lost data with a very high successful data recovery rate. So if you install the new beta and you need to fix that issue, Phone Rescue can help you do that with just a few simple clicks. So check them out. Links will be in the description down below. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, there's been quite a bit of improvements within iOS 15 developer beta 3. In this video, we're going to take an additional dive within the software. I want to share with you guys about six to seven new features and changes within the latest software from minor improvements to brand new features within the latest beta. Now that I've had a chance to use the software for about two days now, I can finally share a a deeper dive within the software for additional new features and changes now just for reference we have this iphone here running beta 2 and obviously this one on the left is running beta 3. now the first thing i want to talk about is some of the minor changes within reminders now the reminders application now features a new splash screen here that gives you a brief description of some of the things that are new within reminders you can now organize with tags you can organize with a new smart list view and you also have some additional new features and changes that apple is describing here on the new splash screen when you first launch the reminders application that is a minor update and change to the reminders app but nonetheless it is something that's new within the latest update now if we head on over to general there's something that's a little bigger of an update here and that is the modern firmware number so if if you were having issues with your network connection, there's an update to the modem firmware number right here. And this should improve your network connection, especially on iPhone 12 models. I was having issues with 5G. The latest updates appear to improve the network connection. If you updated your device to iOS 15 developer beta 3, I would like to hear from you if you're running iPhone 12. Uh, is your network performance improved or not? Now, there's also some changes to do not disturb and focus as well. Now, as I mentioned, this one here is running the previous beta, just for reference here. If we head on over to focus options here, the first thing you'll notice right away is that the focus status is no longer on the main page and the phone calls options is not there as well. So if we go to do not disturb, we now find the focus status in here. There's a cleaner UI. Everything looks more organized. It looks a lot more finished, if you will. We have all the icons and glyphs right next to the status. Right here, we have a new screen here describing some of the new focus and share focus status options available within the latest beta. So in UI enhancements and some options have been relocated here in the focus categories now speaking of focus if we head on over to the lock screen here and we click on the focus options right here we have a slightly different animation and when you tap on the plus icon the ui looks slightly different on the latest beta as well which is a welcome addition to the focus options within the ui for the lock screen and there's also some different things happening within the actual context widget as you can see right there if someone has a focus or do not disturb option enabled the emoji actually shows the icon and next to the emoji right there the do not disturb so apple is definitely tampering with some of the elements within focus for the widgets for the lock screen the elements and animations all that good stuff so i like what apple is doing here and what's happening with the latest focus features and changes there's a lot happening there now moving over into music here is the music widget there's something new within the music widget that i think is really cool so let me go into the music here and let me start playing some music here and take a look at the widget it changes color according to the album that you're listening to now this is something new for me i did not see this happen on previous beta let me know if you've experienced this but this is the first time i see something like this happening within ios it changes the album artwork and the actual widget according to the artwork on your iphone so let's go ahead and play this here and see what that looks like so let's play this here and take a look at the widget right there it changes that says uh, music one and let's go ahead and play some music here just to kind of show you exactly what i mean in regards to music so we go here click on the playlist take a look at the widget it changes according to the album i think that's pretty cool something new something fresh hopefully we'll get some interactive widgets here shortly before the official launch but nonetheless it is the right approach here apple is changing the widgets up a little bit with the new status here on the contacts as well as the new uh, changing of the colors according to the album artwork or whatever it is 
that you're listening to. Now, heading over to Safari, we did talk about on my initial coverage for iOS 15 beta 3 about new look within Safari, but also if you start typing away, you also get a new UI for suggestions within Safari. So that's also a welcome addition. Aside from the actual status bar being at the bottom where the keyboard is, we also have this new UI elements changes here as well. Now, a quick update to the uh, reset options within general and reset options. I did mention on my previous video that Apple is no longer showing these options here for the reset options. So right here, you see all these options. We don't have them here. Actually, if you tap on erase content and settings, you do get those options, or if you click on reset rather, you do get all those options that you do get on the previous beta. It's just a pop-up menu. I'm not sure if many users will understand this new UI, but Apple is adding additional options. As I mentioned on my initial coverage, especially here for when preparing your device for a new iPhone, which is great addition to the reset options here. Now, one of the biggest new changes to the software on beta 3 and this one's new for me if you go to power off your iphone you should get a pop-up explaining some of the latest options available for those of you that do have find my enabled on your device you will get this prompt here and this is the first time i see this this shows that your iPhone will still be foundable even after powering it off. So it uses the Find My Network. And this is a pop-up that I do get every now and then when I go to power off my device, depending on which option I choose to power off, it'll pop up on the screen. It isn't doing it now for whatever reason, but it did do it. You see right there, it shows that the iPhone is now foundable within the latest update, which is a really welcome addition, obviously. You can now find your device even if it is powered off, something that many users have been wanting for quite some time. And Apple has now made that available on the latest iOS update, iOS 15 developer beta three. But nonetheless, let me know what you think about the latest software updates and leave me a comment in those sections down below. How's the software performing for you, especially those of you that updated the modern firmware number on iPhone 12? Is 5G working better for you? And is there anything I didn't talk about in this video? I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Thank you for watching this update video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.